How's it going guys? Christian from Untamed Productions here and uh, for me in this channel, welcome back to some GTA 5 online and today I am just gonna, you know, just come back to this game. Uh, if you guys are new to this channel uh, or just watching this first video, you know, for the first time with the channel. Uh, so like this channel had a history with GTA 5 and this channel was like... A, a pretty much a staple GTA GTA YouTube channel. I would do everything in this in this game. I made car customization videos. I made like how-to videos uh, and little uh, mini mini movie uh, videos. Um, I pretty much did like a lot of things with friends and and myself. Just to give out, give you guys some uh, some content, and so I wanted to come back, and I know within a, probably in a few years here we should be expecting uh, GTA 6 to get some sort of information about that game. We all know how secretive Rockstar Games is with these upcoming games that are so hyped, and they pretty much understand it. So. Uh, they, they they try really hard to keep everything about the game. Uh, so these are going to be like the hopes I have for the online part of GTA 6. Because uh, I already know, in fact, that GTA 5 or GTA 6 will have a more, a better experience in terms of online than Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, you know, just by obvious reasons, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 was based in, like, the Old West. Not very much to do in that timeline, but with the, with the modern setting, with uh, GTA 6, which I'm going off of, it's just, it's going to be a modern setting, pretty much going with everything, every GTA game out there, except for, like, the earlier ones. Uh, like, ever since GTA 4... It's just been set in like in modern times, like around modern time, maybe a couple years ahead or a couple years back from the current timeline. Uh, but there are rumors about it possibly going back. But I'm just going to go off on a limb and say that it is going to be a modern setting of a game. And these are just the things I hope to see in the online part of it. One thing is the vehicles, as I'm doing right here right now. Uh, a wider range of customizations and just uh, for an example uh, customized license plates I'm pretty sure this was a feature in GTA 5 but you could only do it in story mode uh, I'm, I'm not sure if you could do it online I never really got around to you know do any looking at that but I'm pretty sure when the game was just being talked about they had an app for your phone to customize your own license plate but you know for me back in the back in the day it was kind of complicated and i just didn't even want to use it and the app for gta 5 was kind of useless in a way uh so like for for vehicles in, in the online i hope to see a wider range of customization i know they're they had they, they had like updates for gta 5 to bring in more options for your cars to customize them and whatnot um like for Benny's customs, that was like a big update, and you could do a lot more with your car to customize it than to go to Los Santos customs with almost every car out there. Just there was like only a select few cars for Benny's customs to do like whatever you wanted to it. I just I just hope there is like I don't know maybe I'm trying to say like with every car out here it should be like the same amount of customizations like with Benny Customs with all the cars in the in GTA game, in the in the game. Maybe you guys are just gonna have a nice time watching me customize this, so I'm trying to think of something. But anyways, so those are like the vehicles. Like, I'm also thinking of like, possibly have like light options. Like, this is the first game that we had to have uh, neon lights underneath the cars. I was thinking about something like, probably do something inside. Cause I know there are cars out there that people customize that have like little light strips on the top of their hood for like a van or an SUV, you know, those types of big rig cars. And I was hoping they could, that Rockstar could probably do that in terms of like a customization option, which would be like a very nice thing to have. So that's like pretty much the vehicle. I'm kind of keep, keeping this brief. So like that's it for vehicles. Next is like weapons. Weapons was like not an issue for this for GTA 5 in my opinion. 
there are a lot of weapons to choose from like there's different varieties of handguns and that guy stopped in the middle in front of me a lot of variants of rifles rocket launcher snipers uh you know i was just thinking if they could do a little bit more like the selection that we had here was very good and from what i understand we are still getting weapons added uh but i was actually not very pleased with the new addition they added one new rifle what i liked about red dead 2 is that you could like change the gun in many ways like change the barrel if you want to have rifling to increase the accuracy of the gun so this is what i'm talking about so we already have this advanced rifle here so it's a bullpup rifle and we come here it's practically a longer, beefier version of the advanced rifle. It's just the barrel is just longer and it's pretty much like the, the FAMAS from Black Ops Cold War, if, if you guys know what I'm talking about. That's pretty much what this looks like. It's pretty much the same design, but just a little bit beefier. Uh, so anyways, uh, what also I'm thinking about with weapons, like we have like custom like skins for these guns from like LSPD and stuff like that. I was thinking if we could do like a little bit more like have like patterns kind of kind of make the gun your own. I'm not really saying like customize your like the gun itself like however you want, but just like I don't have an option to make the gun a little bit like your own, maybe add like some wording to it. Um uh, you know, I'm just trying to think of things that could possibly be new and bring it to the GTA uh, franchise. Uh, you know, customized uh, camos or different types of camos that would make the gun look, po um, you know, unique in a way. Uh, kind of like, let me, like, you go here, the the up and up and atomizer. Um, it looks like a regular, like, with this default skin, it looks like a regular, like, little toy gun, but once you get to these different types of skins, this thing looks like it has, like, well, it, is, it has, like, a light on top of it. I was thinking, like, with that type of design in mind, you can make these guns have, like, lights. I know how out there Rockstar can be with their updates and how they want to make things, because, you know, they did, like, the whole Tron thing uh, in the game, in the online Maybe they could add, like, lights to this thing. I'm not trying to go, like, very, very, I don't know, out there, thinking outside the box. But, as I'm, as I'm saying, like, make the gun kind of, like, yours, like, how you want it. But, like, you know, bring in more, like, uh, camos for the gun. Maybe some markings. Uh, I'm not sure if you could add, like, your own little, like, logo. Like, this had like your own little gangs and you had your own logo for your gang so like if you could have put like a little sticker that has like the logo from the gang that you're in with your friends uh, maybe add that to it um, but that's just something I'm pointing out just like some brief things for GTA 6 I was hoping that GTA 6 can bring back director mode I was kind of you know disappointed that director mode didn't come back in a, in a certain way with red dead 2 because there was a lot of things i could have done with director mode with red dead 2 and i it's, i hope it's something they can bring in as an update but i'm thinking it's like kind of too late for that because red dead 2 has been out for almost like two years now and i don't know maybe they could have it as an update that's just like a request rockstar can you please bring in director mode for uh red dead 2 just a little request from from your boy over here uh, so that's just like one thing, you know, personally for me to have ring back. But for everything else in GTA 6, I mean GTA, yeah, GTA 6. The one thing that really bugged me about uh, GTA 5, especially for online, was like the things that were like be able to use. You probably guys know what I'm talking about: flying motorcycles with homing with homing launchers. There was nothing more annoying. And then going out to do a certain task, like say, uh, go from point A to point B to go start a mission. And on the way there, you get intercepted by a guy in the sky with a flying motorcycle from a sci-fi movie. I just hate the Oppressor Mark II. I pretty, pretty much everyone does, except for those who use it just to grief. I hope that uh, Rockstar does not bring in any ridiculous vehicles like flying cars, 
flying motorcycles. I know they're trying to go out on a limb to make things as unique as possible for their online you know, mode. Don't make it annoying. I'm pretty sure that this game really catered to the griefers because there was a lot of updates that came with this game that had like, I'm pretty sure you guys remember the, the, the truck that had like the big like ramp or whatever that was in the middle that would just totally flip cars over. There was like a, a little like doom buggy looking thing and it had a ramp going, the ramp was pretty much the car or the vehicle itself. It really just totally, just, it didn't make me want to play online anymore. And the only time I wanted to go online were just to be with my friends in an on like in my uh, solo session or not solo, invite only session just to have us around and do whatever. Or, you know, with my with like my experiences with the online, uh, be in the online in the session itself and wait until I lag out so I'm like the only one in the lobby so it can actually do my jobs. Another one is I, I know this was not a big issue, but it would be kind of nice to have. Now I know this like there's a lot of games out there are, are turning to the fog of war type of style for their maps or radars. Basically, is like you cannot detect a player if they're in, like in a certain view. Uh, you know, certain uh, point of view. From what I'm going with this is that, like, you can see everyone in the map, like everyone. You know where they are, and you can tell who's coming after you and who's not. What I'm kind of proposing is to have like a similar thing. Uh, you don't detect the players until they get to a certain spot or a certain distance. Just to kind of eliminate that grief uh, factor. I know griefing is a play style that I really look down upon. But I just wonder if there's just a way to kind of uh, reduce it a little bit by having the fog of war type of radar setting. So like say, um, well let's go to map here and say like maybe you don't detect anyone who's like, I would say about like here. like. You have a, like a radius that goes from here, like around your player, and whoever gets there, like in that little uh, area of interest, they are detected by you. But anyone like that's in like the town here, I won't be able to detect. Just kind of like protect those who want to do jobs or just want to go on and do your own thing, just to eliminate people who are just want to kill you just for the sake of doing so. One thing I kind of missed with GTA 5 online. It was from uh, GTA 4. Uh, there would be some sessions in there where cops were turned off. Like, you could have these big battles. I remember everyone gathering up in the airport on GTA 4. And you would have everybody. Sorry, with the notifications. There would be a lot of people just killing each other left and right and all over the place. But the one thing is that there was no cops there to kind of ruin the fun. It was kind of, it was like really fun to have these battles. But the cops are just there to ruin it. Uh, you know, you can have like a regular session like we see here in GTA 5, but you can also have like a a, a lawless session that has no cops, which we would, would be kind of nice for those who are just want to go crazy and just do all the crazy stuff. And going back to like the fog war thing with the lawless thing, you don't have to like worry about you know with you know detecting people from. A certain distance you could see everyone at the, at the uh, lawless uh, session just going off on a limb for if I were to call it that uh, you know with the lawless have no cops you can go all out no matter how crazy you are Siri is being annoying right now sorry about that and the last one I have here is kind of a big one which kind of goes with uh, how kind of how when uh, Red Dead 2 came about I knew like I, I didn't knew but I, I know there was a issue with making money versus products that you could buy within the online session in Red Dead 2. Like the money that you would make would not even be worth it because it would just not be enough to go out and buy certain things that you kind of needed. Like there was a rifle that cost like four or like seven hundred dollars, which doesn't seem to be a lot in you know in GTA 5 standards, but you were getting paid like hundred dollars a job. And you have to do like these seven jobs or extra or whatever just to get one rifle. And if you wanted to buy that rifle, then you have to grind your way back to getting that money super quick. I know there is like 
certain ways to buy things, but the one the thing I'm saying here is you should not make GTA 5 one of those games that are like the only way you can make a lot of money is to buy shark cards, let's just say, or buy gold bars. It is it's I don't know, it's not fair to the player. Like I guess the grinding aspect if you're just into grinding it, but I don't you shouldn't like kind of have like a, a flag wave like hey if you want this thing there's an easy route just give us uh five bucks and we'll give you uh what was that five dollars for this thing like for like five hundred thousand dollars from gta online you should uh they should have it so jobs are like you make quick money and easy and it's worth it like doing jobs is a game, it was worth it but the grind to get a lot of money, like the heist in this game, it was worth it because when you get to the big heist, you get a big score and you get a lot of money out of that. But a lot of jobs besides the heist, like some of the big jobs, should you know, she should get like a little bit of something extra, you know, just to say, just to say, hey, you went on your way to do this certain task. Here, we're gonna reward you with like, uh, you know, eighty thousand dollars. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's like a lot, like a lot in GTA standards. But that's just something I'm putting out there as like something I hope to see in GTA 6. So basically what I'm saying here is a further range of vehicle customizations. I know there's going to be a lot of cars with this new installment. If it's going to be in based in the modern setting because there's a lot of cars out there new and old and upcoming. Uh, with Also with weaponry that's going to be available in the game. It's going to be a lot of weapons I hope. Uh, like a lot more variants of handguns and rifles and such and for the online to be a little bit more non-ridiculous in terms of we're not here to make a super action like an action movie type of game this is a GTA game it's a a, a kind of a realistic simulation of what it'd be like to go out and do the things without any consequences I know I, I might be whine I might sound like a whiner right here or whining or whatever you want to call it. Uh, have some cheese with this wine here, uh, but this is just some of the things I want to see in GTA 6. If you guys agree with the statements that I'm putting out there, or you guys are against the things I'm talking about here, please put it in the comment section explaining why and possibly your own take of what you would like to see in GTA 6. This has been Christian from Untamed Productions, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys have not done so anyway uh, already, subscribe to the channel. A lot more content coming out this uh, to this channel in the future. And fuck off, Tony. Um, and also, I have a Teespring's merchandise store if you guys want to check it out. Uh, the link is in the description down below. Or you can go to my channel. It should be in one of the links on the bottom right side of the banner on my channel. Hope you guys have a good day out there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.